Hello and welcome back to Newman Plays Marvel Snap. Also welcome to another season of Marvel Snap. This is exciting. Uh, I played a couple games so far uh, with a Sarah Surfer Nebula-esque deck that I've enjoyed a good amount. Uh, the idea for this deck, get Sarah out on five, lay a bunch of stuff on six. Um, if there's a way to cheat Sarah out, I'll definitely do that. But um, I wanted to have Nebula in something that I felt comfortable with. So this is the deck that I decided to go with. Uh, Goose and Cosmo are in here to stop Galactus plays. Uh, if I can get Cosmo, Maximus, and Storm in a location, I feel pretty good about that. Also, if I can get Nebula under armor and maybe throw down Goose or something, uh, I'm going to feel pretty good about that. So the only thing, don't drop a Cosmo in your only lane that you can play, uh, play Surfer or Brood. Um, Got to save a little bit of space. Things can get pretty full. So let's see uh, how my luck goes today. As you can see, I am at 50, which means that I, I did indeed in the previous season make it to 85. If you are someone who uh, follows me on Twitter, you heard about my experience, but I will explain a little bit. So, the Friday before the season rollover, I really, I was getting really frustrated. Uh, and the thing that I found frustrating was, sorry, I need to think quick. Let's see what happens. Okay. The thing that I found frustrating is I was bouncing between 77, 79, over and over and over. Oh, dude. Let's do this for us. Um, and if you were someone who was struggling with last season, you probably made it to about that same range. Um, it's just, it's very obnoxious, very difficult to deal with. This is not good for us. So I, first of all, I wish I could keep a train of thought going. Uh, if when I, you know, have to think, uh, my apologies, but I, I just I decided that I needed to I needed to make this happen, so I went the uh, what's the right word? Went an annoying route, I suppose. Opponent snapped. Really? Okay, I'll let you be confident. I'm not snapping. None of this. I played Sandman Ramp for two days straight. Um, I also, I had a pretty large issue when I put out my previous, like, my deck guide. Like, the only deck guide I've done is right after they buffed Enchantress. And so I, I put out an ongoing deck that relies on, you know, getting those things out there. So I, I felt a little bit dumb after doing that. Uh, pretty terrible. Plus, I also started doing YouTube Marvel Snap stuff, playing a lot of Galactus. Uh, and in the midst of which, all the Galactus hate really came out. Um, so, hey, uh, just FYI, there's a podcast called uh, Snap Judgments that uh, some friends of mine make. Um Shout out to Mr. Glazer. But they did a whole episode last night on... Let's see. Jeff? Why would you do that? Why were you so confident? Eh, it's fine. Um, and they talked all about Galactus. It's a little hour-long 
uh, experience that I would highly recommend going and listening to. I threw some thoughts in there via the chat. Um, but it's, it, it was a, a good time. So just all these things kind of didn't work out in my favor is what I'm saying. Anyway, back to... <clears throat> Gosh, ADD is such a good time. Um, <laughs> so uh, played... Uh, not Galactus Ramp, Sandman Ramp for two days straight. And I, when I say I played for two days straight, I, I put my heart and soul into making it work. I, one of the days I ran out of boosters that I could earn is uh, hopefully a good indication of how much I actually played. And that was just not, it wasn't fun. So, um, by the end of all of that, I finally made it to 85. And I learned a lot about snapping, all right? Like a really good amount. Just thinking really quick. I basically came up with win conditions in my mind that if I didn't get, you know, Dr. Doom at least by turn four, if I didn't get Electro with Dr. Doom. Oh, no. That would have been really good for us, but no such luck. That's fine. This might be a retreat. Yeah, especially because I need to play Sarah next turn. So, we'll see what happens. So, I, I just, I played it uber safe. And I, I can't say it was the most fun that I've ever had. My hand. But I eventually made it to 85. And I, I crawled my way up there. Right, Nebula is a little, a little late. I would say. Yep, and it could be a real big boy. Mid. So, if I can't win left and right, gotta retreat. And this does not feel something, or feel like something I can win. I just don't have enough power, because I could play Jug right. We're going to retreat. <clears throat> that's fine. That's, I think that's my uh, my first loss of this season. Which is okay. But I, I think that uh, this season, you know, my goal last season was 95. I didn't quite get there. Doesn't bother me. Um in reality, what I've enjoyed the most hmm. Hmm. Nebula is not going to be very good against Galactus because they have tons of little ones. I think more than anything, I, I just I learned more about how I play. I learned a lot about Sandman ramp and how to play it correctly. Um, I also played a lot on uh, the day where Bifrost was the featured location, so that was good. I, I again, I learned a lot. Ooh, victory. Oh, sorry if that was a little strange. Um, it's been a day. I was not able to uh, continue recording earlier, so this is all happening a few hours later. I fixed a few things, like the name of the deck in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Um, but I just I don't have a lot of time, so I'm getting into this pretty quickly. I'll try and do maybe two or three games, just showing off the deck. Um, 
but my you may note that my voice sounds a little different. I was in charge of leading chapel today at school, and yeah, I mean, I just don't have much of a voice at this point, so uh, sorry. I, I don't know what to tell you. This could be bad news bears for us. This feels like a relatively similar deck to what we're doing. We'll at least try to Juggernaut, but... Oopsie. This one might be a retreat. Uh, basically a mirror match. But they're also probably going to play Sarah. Yeah. Um... Also, I'm probably a little bit more tired than normal, which is fine. Yeah, we're just going to retreat now. Uh, this isn't super fun. I don't know. Whenever I end up singing or doing worship stuff, I use a good amount of energy up. I'm pretty dead at the moment. Normally, I wouldn't go in and claim any of that stuff, but I did just now. So hopefully, I mean, there's not a lot of nebula that I've been able to showcase so far. Speaking of which... Ooh. Imagine they're gonna play pretty similar stuff to us. Ooh. Cool. I think maybe we do this. We'll do that. I don't know what exactly they would play over there. That would annoy me, but, um... So if we go Brood mid, that could be a big issue. I don't really want to play anything this turn. I think we just waste a goose, maybe. I don't know. Then we'll play Sarah right. Oh, I get it. Professor X on Vibranium. Because I, I suppose it is also possible that they want to play Gamora on this turn. That's not going to happen. Ooh. That's not very nice. I mean, we can only play a card. Maybe Doom? If it's Doom, we're okay. I think. Yep. All good. I like it. We'll give him some knuckles. Victory. I really, I've really enjoyed playing this game today. I think more than anything, I've just really needed a break this week. Uh, and this has been a nice, calm gaming experience for me. So, if you enjoyed yourselves, sweet. But this will be the last one. Whether we win or lose, we'll do a different one. Because I want to play with my deck and not the random nonsense that I'm about to draw. It is exciting that we got Nebula turn one, though. Yowza. Let's try that again. Maybe we can actually get into this and play a game. Astral Badger. Astral Badger is straight up. 
like the most common opponent that I face in the last month. I remember googling them three or four times to see if they were a bot because I play them so often. Yeah, I don't love this setup. Okay, so we gotta watch out for Professor X. Ew. This is rough. But he can play Jeff into the sandbar or move Jeff into the sandbar. Which is good for him. Not worried about one Hulk. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about mid at this point. Yeah, I mean, uh, just thinking of random questions, but you guys have feelings about Nebula at this point? Have you enjoyed your experience or no? Oh no. Professor X left and we lose. I'm just gonna retreat. I'm not gonna waste the cubes. I know what's coming. Escaped. Sweet. I mean, not the best note to end on, but I feel like overall things have gone pretty well. I've enjoyed Nebula. I took tomorrow off of work. So I have a good chunk of time where I can sit around my house and play Marvel Snap or Resident Evil 4 Remake or whatever I want to do. So I'm excited for that. I'm also dead tired right now. So sorry, I'm not as lively. Uh, am I lively normally? I don't know. I'm just done. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. It's just a tiring day. So you guys enjoy your days. Enjoy playing with Nebula. Uh, make your choices and I will see you in the future. Probably at some point tomorrow. Peace.